actually about to meet with a coworker. I'm in Park Slope. I never come to this neighborhood. One of my favorite things about New York, even though I'm planning about a lot of things in New York, is how different the neighborhoods are, despite only being like a mile or two away from each other. Up right up there when you're ready. All right, set. So I had a really good conversation with my coworker Nikki and we talked about a developer experience. I got some insight on what her team does, some of the feedback that their team has gotten. She runs a startup team. They travel all over the world. So it's always so interesting hearing their feedback because they have feedback from developers all over the world. All right, now I'm back home and I have two packages that I wanna unbox. I feel like I never do an unboxing ever, unless it's like a new tech item, but I have one PR package that was really unexpected. And also I got some athletic greens. You guys know I've been taking my nutrition and my fitness more seriously because I have a half marathon. And one, I just thought the athletic greens packaging looks so good, like so minimal and clean. I don't know what it is about the younger millennial generation and Gen Z and our fascination with Watching people do normal stuff like, I don't know, unbox a package of something that's not that exciting, like nutrition packets or washing dishes. But I'm gonna give you this content. Let me turn this on. Here we go. Okay, I guess it makes sense that this is my first PR package that I'm op opening on YouTube because the brands that send PR packages I never worked with on YouTube. But anyways, let's do unboxing real quick. Yo, this is crazy. This is a cologne box disguised as a book slash like a magazine. This bottle is massive. Also, it smells so good. It's a perfect fragrance for summer. Comment down below, guys. Is summer over? Is it almost over? I don't know if you all seen that Robert De Niro movie about my father. I love the cologne scene that he does with his son. So this is the moment of truth. I don't expect this to taste good. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's just a plus if it does. It don't really taste like nothing. It kind of tastes like bloom, but a little toned down. Almost kind of tastes like nothing for real. So I decided to come up to the rooftop and I need to come out here more. I've been saying that like the past few videos and I have been coming out here more than I usually do. There's never anyone up here, which always makes me feel less guilty about not using this amenity. I do think it's funny that when you're apartment hunting, amenities are typically what separates one apartment from another. And then you choose an apartment with better amenities and then you don't take advantage of them. And I've just noticed this pattern at all the apartments I've pretty much lived at. People don't take advantage of the amenities. We don't know what these shots that I shot today are gonna to be for, but today was a, not a super ordinary day because I met up with one of my team members. We went to this like co-working coffee shop off Vanderbilt and I think East 43rd Street. Thought about going on a train, I actually did. Sometimes I'll pay for the train and then turn around, realize the wait's too long and I'll either walk or I'll take a city bike. And on days like today where it's kind of chill because it's still a weekday, it's only Thursday and it just got done raining. So it's not too muggy and the temperature is pretty cool. I figured I'm just gonna take a city bike. I might take it to Canal Street. So one tip, if you're ever in New York City, and you wanna get around quickly and you don't mind taking an electric bike. When you open up the city bike app, you open up the city bike app, this is not sponsored. When you open up the app, you can filter it to next gen bikes 
and I found a city bike station that has almost 30 next gen e-bikes which is crazy most of the time it's hard to find like three and half of them usually are not even in service so i used to dream of like working out of a new york city office and i still do enjoy the idea of working out of a new york city office so i think Days like today where I meet up with my team members in neighborhoods like Midtown and I walk around it almost gives me that fix of what it would be like if I did work in office in New York. Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's 12.30. Wow. Good afternoon, everyone. Last night was rough. I had a three mile recovery run and I was literally fantasizing about watermelon, specifically like cutting the watermelon open and just sprinkling lemon juice over it. I don't know if you all have seen that trend, but but I tried it and, and it's fire. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I just ended my nearly 17 hour fast. So the Athletic Greens is the first meal I've had today. And I'm actually happy I didn't eat last night. Now it was rough. I hopped on a PlayStation, started talking to my homies, did a little bit of gaming. And naturally I got really hungry because when you game, you want to snack. I even watched Suits, went to bed way later than I usually do. And still we didn't, we didn't fold. We stayed strong. And I'm actually really happy because when I woke up in the morning, I wasn't hungry. I didn't even have any coffee. Like usually I'll have black coffee to suppress my appetite or I'll have some green tea, but I didn't even need to do that because I was so busy and I kind of slept in late, which definitely helped. So I've been trying to be less reliant on coffee and caffeine just in general, because it is definitely an addiction. Like at this point I'm drinking coffee like twice a day. And if I play basketball or if it's like a long run, I might have caffeine three times a day. So it'll be like a combination of like a VA energy drink, maybe one of those like liquid hydration packets and like two cups of coffee. And I don't want to live my life like that no more. So this is the outfit for today. I swapped out the Uniqlo U Arizona boxy t-shirt for this Lululemon camp collar shirt. And this has been my favorite shirt for summer. The main reason is because I'm pretty sure it has like sweat wicking material. It's extremely breathable. I know it's weird buying smarter clothing from brands like Lululemon, but Lululemon's been delivering more and more smart and like casual pieces. And my favorite thing about this shirt is that I feel like it could pair well with really any kind of short, even if I was wearing more athletic shorts. done eating lunch with my friend Ray we haven't met up in like three or four months so we were saying we can't do this once every three to four months but he's been really busy traveling been really busy with work working at Meta but I'm glad things are going well for him that he was, that he was able to travel this summer kind of inspired me and motivated me to do like a one month trip to a country or continent that I've always wanted to visit also raise a fellow creator so I always appreciate having those conversations and quality time with fellow creators and of course he works in tech too so that's a plus so I'm actually on my way to a coffee shop the name of it is called paper whenever I'm in a neighborhood that 
I don't normally find myself in. I always try to get coffee at a new coffee shop. Plus, I haven't had any caffeine all day. I still have to do my strength training and I have to do a speed run. So I can't spend too much time in Manhattan. I gotta get back to Brooklyn. So the reason why I spent more time in Manhattan than I anticipated was because one, it took me forever to finish my coffee. It was a lot of coffee. Okay, maybe I'm over exaggerating. The main reason is because I ran into Elliot Choi and Anne Marie who are fellow YouTubers. It was our first time meeting each other, but it was amazing. We spent like an hour just talking about the YouTube algorithm, content creation, and really just venting. And I noticed a lot of YouTubers, when we get together, we vent and I love that. Or maybe maybe I'm the one that's just venting because I'm not around as many creators I often. It was really cool meeting them. That's probably my favorite thing about New York City is how you can just run into people like really spontaneously and you can even become friends in that way. There are two good friends of mine, one that lives in New York, another that lives in San Francisco and we were following each other on social media and then we saw each other at a store. We said, what's up? got dinner or lunch, next thing you know we end up becoming good friends. That's why you moved to New York City. So I don't normally lift at, at this time of the day, so I'm a little bit hesitant to lift, but I feel a lot better. I had a headache earlier, and I wasn't going to work out, but I'm like, you know what, I need to get up, because I know I'll feel good that I went to go lift, and this summer's all about doing hard things anyways, so I gotta get out of my comfort zone.